Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space where I share my memory keeping projects and processes with all of you. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Crystal and I am so happy that you are here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all my future crafty videos and any of the products or the links that I mentioned in this video, I will go ahead and put in that description box down below. So today I am working with the Allie Edwards Digital Stories by the Month kit that just released in uh, April 2020. So it just came out on April 3rd, which was a Friday. Um, if you don't know, the Digital Stories by the Month kits come out on the first Friday of every month. Um, so there's not like a set day. It's like a, a date. It's a, you know, the first Friday of the month. So anyway, it just came out and it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. So um, I went ahead and I I altered some of the bits and pieces in it to create a, a spread for my traveler's notebook. And I, I'm actually going to be using my pocket page traveler's notebook today. So um, what that is, is there in between the two like regular pages, there is this pocket to work with. Um, and this is a book that I primarily use to document things about myself, uh, kind of like an all about me sort of album. So I am going to be creating a spread in this book today using the components from this kit. And what I have in front of me are um, a couple of papers. So this I will be cutting in half. I already have my journaling pre-printed on this side. Um, I created these pages myself and before I actually get into this process, I will go over to the computer and show you guys how I did this in case you want to do the same thing. Um, and then I printed a photo of myself uh, holding our cat, Mr. Dibs, and looking outside at my husband and my children playing on the swing set in our backyard. So this is just a picture from you know our kitchen looking out into the backyard. So this I'm going to trim out and use inside of this page. And then the only other thing I have out here are some um, cut out like what do I want to say? Like, um, uh, they're butterflies, they're butterflies, but they're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word. I'm losing it. Anyways, they are, they are, uh, different sizes of the same butterfly. I cut these out using my silhouette and what I'm going to do before I work on assembling the page is to watercolor on top of these butterfly elements. And then that is what I'm going to use inside this pocket, inside this pocket page. So I'm going to watercolor these butterflies and then have them in here, you know, arranged in, in some kind of fashion. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward while I do this. I figured just in case you guys wanted to see how I go about doing this watercoloring, I will, uh, film this and and keep a portion of it in for you and take out some of it because I don't know how long it's going to take um, And then we will put together the rest of this page and then I'll slow you guys back down to close you out So let's go ahead and get started on this project So first I'm going to start you guys off on my computer within Photoshop Creative Cloud So I can show you guys how I made those papers I'm going to pull open this journaling card that says finding the beauty in the middle of it all and it has that floral element on it. And then I'm also going to pull out the digital stamp that says the same thing that finding the beauty in the middle of it all. And all that I did is I used my color picker to grab the color of the finding beauty words on the card and then I changed the color using my paint can on the stamp set so that it could match exactly how it looked on the card. Then I went back to the original card and I erased off the sentiment knowing that I wanted to make this uh, into a traveler's notebook page. So I opened up a canvas that's four and a, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I copied and pasted on the journaling card and then I just um, enlarged it so it would fill up the whole space. Then I'm going to go back to the 
original card, I'm going to go up to uh, image and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. So it's now upside down and I'm going to do the same thing. Copy it, paste it and put it onto the canvas uh, for the traveler's notebook. And then that one will go at the top. So that's how I created this floral frame element. But now you can see I needed to delete those words off so I could put this top the top florally part on. So then I could just copy and paste over that stamp sentiment, finding the beauty in the middle of it all, and then that card is back to kind of the feel of how it was originally. So then this page I knew I wanted to put a photo on. So then I'm gonna take that stamp set, take it back off, and then I'm just gonna merge down the layers of this page right here to become the journaling page. Once that's merged, I'm going to put on a text box. That way I can edit this box, you know, the text later. But um, I, you know, the other page, I merged everything in. So the stamp and the two sections of cards so that when it, when I am using it, I don't have to, you know, I can just select the page and work with that. And I don't have to worry about making sure all the layers are selected. So that is basically how I created this. And then uh, this just shows you what they look like side by side. I printed those off on plain white cardstock in, you know, the eight and a half by 11 page. And then we're going to go back to my desk. So next I'm going to trim out this photo right here and I'm going to get those traveler's notebook pages trimmed out as well. It was really, you know, it's really nice to work with digital products like this because you can just so easily alter them to fit the size of the album you're working in. So it was really, um, I always like working in digital and creating hybrid projects. So my idea for this photo portion uh, is to grab out my craft knife, which I'll do this a little bit later. Um, and I want to trim out around the floral element in the bottom of the Finding Beauty title page uh, so that I can just tuck that picture in but still have that floral element kind of overlapping on top of my photo. I just recently got the We Are Memory Keepers craft knife and I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> I think I need some practice or either that or it's just like not the greatest not the greatest craft knife. Um, I know there's one that Heba uses. Her channel is uh, My Little Journal here on YouTube. And she uses one that's like a retractable, really tiny little knife that I need to look into getting. I think it's from Spellbinders maybe. Anyway, so then I'm going to pull over these these butterfly elements. Now the cut file from these butterflies came from Confessions of a Paper Addict. Um, I think it was a free file that she gave away a long time ago, but she might have something like this in her shop now. And then I have a set of watercolors that I purchased from Michaels. It's just like a cheapy, they're either like $5 or $10 or they're not very expensive watercolors. Um, and I'm using a watercolor, I don't know what they're called, watercolor brush. It's not a water, watercolor brush. It's like a a brush pen, I think. So the way that it works is you can put water in the barrel of that of that brush and then I can just squeeze it in order to get water out and it makes watercoloring pretty pretty easy. So I'm going to make a bunch of these, those pink colors. Uh, a couple of them I tried to do an ombre effect. I honestly don't use watercolor paints that much. Um, I'm hoping to change that and to practice a little bit more with paints and mixed media, um, especially over you know the next couple of months. I, I chose that for my 100 day project where I'm going to be pulling out one page a day and filling it with mixed media of some sort. So I'm hoping to get better practice with watercolors, but um, yeah, so I, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I just kind of like throw paints on there and I honestly, I really like how they all turn out. So it's not like, it's not too bad. Anyway, so I'm going to do some that are pink. I'm going to do some that are green or like a tealy color. And I'm really just trying to match the colors of those floral elements. Um, 
I think I'm going to show you guys one out, one of the green ones. And then, um, then I'll skip over all the rest of it. So you guys don't have to watch me watercolor like a million butterflies. Um, so something that's really cool is while I was creating this page, so we are still, it's still like the stay home order is still in effect here in Michigan. Um, I think I've been home at this point for like 20, let's see. So this Saturday would have been, or Sunday, this was Sunday, I think. I don't even remember. I'm losing track of days. So hmm. I think at this point I've been home for like 24 days in a row. Um, it's a lot of days. But anyway, uh, what was really fun is that while I was creating this page right here, I actually was on a call with my sister. We were just like Zoom calling each other and um, crafting at the same time. And it was so fun. It's like, you know, we're really lucky to live in a world where we have so many um, options, I guess, for staying in contact with each other. But um, yeah, just a fun fact. So I'm going to finish up these last two little itty bitty ones. And one of the coolest after effects of, of making these butterflies was the underneath paper that I was using to uh, keep my desk area clean. It turned out so cool and now I just need to figure out a way to use that whether it's like trimming out the butterflies so that the outline is there or using it as a paper or something because it is super cool um I never even you know I never considered that that was something that would happen it's almost like these little butterfly embellishments were stencils that I used on top of a paper and it's just super cool so that is how that turned out I also did a couple yellow ones too just FYI, but I, I don't end up using them. I only end up using the pink and the green. So now let's pull over that craft knife and get this bottom edge trimmed out. So I don't want the entire thing trimmed. I just want the photo to like tuck right inside of it. So all I'm doing is trimming or not trimming. I'm, I'm cutting a line right above where all of those florals are. And then once I get that done, I'm going to add adhesive to the back of my photo and I will just remove the adhesive on the top most portion so I can position the photo on here and then like adhere just the top down before having to deal with everything having adhesive on it. It just worked better that way. So I will tuck it in and, and uh, adhere it down and then it's kind of tricky getting the rest of the adhesive off. Like I tried to just, I don't know, I tried to finagle it here, but it didn't work. So all that I did was just pull it back out from underneath the trimmed portion and then I'll tuck it back in again and uh, adhere it all down. So it's, it's no big deal. Now this side of the page is complete once I have this photo on here. So then what I'll do is, um, add the extra adhesive to it and then just put it straight into my traveler's notebook or my pocket page notebook. I should also mention that the pocket page notebook that I have, the one that's got the pockets in between the pages, that came from my friend Michelle who owns the stamp shop. So I will be sure to link her shop down below in case you are interested in trying out one of these pocket page notebooks. They are super cool and um, just a different way to use a traveler's notebook um you know it gives you the ability to use some see-through things or to just like i could totally make one page one of the paper pages and then one of the pockets like it doesn't have to be a full spread doesn't have to include two you know both sides and the pocket but that's so far that's the way that i've used it and i'm really really enjoying that so I'm going to go ahead and get these guys adhered down into the page and then we're going to pull over those butterflies and get to work on those. So basically what I'm going to do is pull out uh, two of the really big pink ones and then two of the neck size down in the green teal and then some more pink and then some more green. So I just want them to be layered almost as though they were flying up the page. I will adhere two of them back to back, you know, since this is a pocket and we're going to see the butterflies on both sides, I wanted to um, 
I adhered two butterflies back to back, so either side that you look on, they're they are watercolored. And then I will slide them down in, into the pocket and attach them in place using my tiny attacher so they don't move around. While I'm doing that, let me tell you guys about my journaling. So this spread right here, uh, so the title says Finding Beauty in the Middle of It All, and I decided to journal about my own like personal experience so far with this self-quarantining, staying home um, lifestyle. And so my journaling is is much more about me than it is about anybody else in our family. So I said in here, I said these, these past three weeks of self-quarantining haven't been the easiest. When the second week at home began, my mood started to downward spiral. The infected numbers for our state were rising out of control and it was hard to stay positive when words like untreatable, unknown, unemployment, undetermined were being repeated on a daily basis. Without a lot of time to myself to craft and de-stress, I felt super overwhelmed. Then the weekend came and Aaron was able to take care of the kids so I could spend some time on my own. Man, did I need that. It allowed me to go into this week with a positive outlook where I could look out at something as simple as the kids playing outside with Aaron and feel blessed that we have so much time together right now. It allowed me to see the beauty in the small and seemingly insignificant moments we are able to have together. The afternoon lunches as a family, the two times we make it outside every day, the intentional time spent with our kids. And instead of letting the overwhelm continue to consume me, it has allowed me to feel so much gratitude for our time together. So it's just um, some like reflective journaling about my own personal experience and and getting real about how this time hasn't always been like super great. It's had its hard moments, but then it's also had its moments of of beauty and of goodness, you know. So I'm just going to date stamp the bottom of, of this page and then that will do it. So I will slow you guys back down and close you out of this video. All right, you guys, so that does it for this spread, and I love how this turned out. I absolutely adore these butterfly embellishments on here. I love that you can see through to the opposite side and that it just gives them a place to live. Um, I hope that you guys feel inspired and that whether you're working in a traveler's notebook or a traditional spread or whatever format you're working with, I hope that this gave you some ideas of how you can use those digital products to work for you and for your projects. Um, all right, so yes, um, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and a great rest of your weekend. I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.